now we are discussing about construction business options in that today we are discussing about drywall the drywall is a construction material consisting of thin panels of gypsum board the board is composed of layer of gypsum gypsum rock sandwiched between two layers of special paper drywall makers makes for a much more be efficient method of construction than the common earlier technique of applying wet plaster to a gypsum mat what are the raw materials the primary component of drywall is the mineral gypsum it is a light density rock found in plentiful deposits worldwide each molecule of gypsum is composed of two molecules of water and one of calcium sulfate by weight the compound is 21% water and by but by volume it is nearly 50% of water and next point is water per present in gypsum is in crystalline form the material is dry although ice another form of crystalline water becomes a liquid at room temperature the water bound in the gypsum molecules remains solid unless it is heated to 212% of heat of foreign heat at which point it changes to a gaseous state and evaporates next point is pulverized gypsum is used for a variety of applications gypsum is in its pure form of form it is white but impurities often give it to colors like gray brown pink or black pulverized gypsum is used for a wide variety of applications it is an ingredient in some brands of tooth paste and is used as a filler in products such as paint cosmetics and drugs automotive window glass is secured in a bed bed of gypsum while it is being polished gypsum is applied to farm land as a fertilizer and fertilizer and soil conditioner and the next point is drywall making the sandwich the gypsum slurry is poured into a layer of paper that is unrolling onto a long board which in another layer of paper unrolls on top of the slurry the sandwich then passes through a system of rollers that contact that compact the gypsum core to the proper thickness the most common thickness thicknesses are 0.37 inch 0.5 inch and 0.62 inch next point is cutting the panels by the by the by the time the edges have been shaped the plaster core has set sufficiently for a knife to slice the continuous strip into standard panel sizes the board generally 48 inches or 54 inches wide is usually cut into panels that are 8 feet or 12 feet the drying process the panels are transferred to a conveyor line that feeds them through a long drying oven at one plant for example the gas fired oven is 470 feet long panels enter the oven at 500 uh, degrees f far in heat and are exposed to gradually decreasing levels of heat during to during the 35 to 40 minutes they are travel through the system humidity and temperature are carefully controlled in the dryer and next point is um, you know product evaluation since the invention of gypsum board at the turn of a century there has been gradual progress in making it lighter in weight while improving the performance characteristics in the late 1950s standard gypsum board weighed 2 pounds per square foot the various kinds of standard gypsum board now average about 1.6 pounds per square foot this not only makes handling and insulation easier but it decreases the shipping costs as well this is the information regarding the drywalls so drywalls are mostly useful and easy to construct buildings and flats and all these also so drywalls are reliable and it is a very good technique in the construction field wishing you all the best